Stay tuned and let's take a look at this Marvel Legends Target exclusive Sam Wilson, Captain America. Pow and welcome back to the channel Dan Who Reviews. As always, my name is Dan W. Make sure you are following me on Instagram at it's Dan Who. And remember now you can hit that join button and become a channel member as well. Either show some love or join the members club. Much, much appreciated. Today we are taking a look at the Marvel legend Sam Wilson, Captain America, aka Falcon Cap. Now, if you are in the US, this is a Target exclusive. But if you are in the UK, this unfortunately is not being released. Now, sometimes these things happen. Don't ask me why. It happened last year with Ant-Man. Sometimes the exclusives do not make their way over here. So unfortunately, this one's going to be harder to track down if you are across the pond like me. Hopefully, some of the sites bring in some import stock. But if you're asking Dan, how did you get it? Well, thanks to Gerard over in Ireland. He ordered his from Hasbro Pulse EU and then shipped it over to Craig, who's then sent it me. So shout out both Gerard and Craig for letting me to review this, as that is how I have got my hands on it. I have unfortunately not been able to order one as of yet but uh yeah we shall see how things line up but like the secret empire cap which was a walmart exclusive this figure and that were meant to be accompanying releases to the captain america movie that has been delayed so you can imagine behind the scenes some product got cancelled and pushed around and i think this one sort of got caught up in the mix which is unfortunate as people have been waiting eight years to get some official marvel legend Falcon Cap Wings. As we have already got the actual figure, he came in a Toys R Us three pack. Remember Toys R Us? Back in the day, 2016, with the all new, all different vision and the Kate Bishop Hawkeye. But he never actually came with his wings. So this is a nice, sort of worthy re release for people trying to backtrack, as now he actually has those accurate wings from the comics. As during this time, I think Captain America was an old man, so Falcon Cap took the mantle, much like he's done in the MCU. But uh, as always, it happens in the comics first, and now we have a figure to represent that. So he does look good in the packaging. You get a cap shield up top, you get a picture of him on the side, an image on the back of the box, and a write-up that says, Falcon Cap takes the mantle of Captain America to new heights, by combining the iconic shield with his signature wings versus threats near and abroad. Do you get it? New heights because he flies. Very good, Hasbro. Now let's get it open. Here we have Falcon Cap out of the packaging with all of his accessories on the table, which are the big wings, a backpack, a new shield, and then a couple of different hands. But before we look at what's new and different, let's look at what's much of the same. As previously mentioned, this is a re-release of the Captain America we got eight years ago in that Toys R Us free pack. And it's a solid representation of this particular character design from the comics for our collection, undoubtedly. But it, they didn't upgrade it. They didn't give us the pinless tech. So this is basically a choice. You can either upgrade the one you've got, or if you missed out, you can now buy it with the wings. But the wings are definitely the highlight of this set. Let me get the tape measure out so you can see. It is standard six and about a quarter inches in height. Uh, but it does look good. Now let me throw on the rotating base so you can see for yourself in regards as to the sculpt and the articulation, both of these figures will be the same. The only difference is the colour palette. The new one is more lighter in tones overall and has more of a matte finish compared to the darker tones on the previous one and that one had a glossy finish whether that was intentional or not. It also has a few extra hits of deco as it has sort of chrome on the belt and the knee pads where the new one just has the flat grey but it does have the brighter eyes. So the new one Overall, it's just brighter in tone. It's definitely going to pop more, but maybe you prefer the darker tones for your version of Sam Cap. So completely up to you, but that is the difference between the two. It is just the color palette. But in case you don't have the previous one, let's just take a quick look at Sam. But before we do that, let's just have a quick word from our friends. At Legends Verse. Let me introduce you to LegendsVerse.com, a place all Marvel Legends collectors are going to want to know about. If you are looking for an easy way to keep track of your collection, what figures you have, and create wish lists, then Legends Verse can do all of this and so much more. It's a comprehensive Marvel Legends database that, once you have added your collection, gives you stats like how many figures you own, how many waves and builder figures you have completed, and how much your collection is worth right now. Organize 
customize your collection in teams, upload photos of each figure, look at price guides, and share your collection with friends by showcasing your own profile. Go and sign up and see for yourself legendsverse.com. Shout out Legends Verse as always. If you collect Marvel Legends, what are you waiting for? Check them out. Links in the description. As we do, let's start up top with the head sculpt. Just to confirm it is the exact same to the previous one. Again, it's just the colors that are different. The goggles are a lot brighter. And obviously this design doesn't require the digital face printing tech as most of his face is covered up by those goggles. So yeah, same head sculpt, just slightly lighter in tone for the new one. And again, same throughout this whole figure. So let me zoom out just a little bit to see what's going on. So on the back of the figure, you get the hole for the backpack. The previous one had that same hole. So you could use this new wing system on the old one. I will try that in this video as well. The lines are quite clean. Considering they are white lines, if there's any sloppiness, they would be noticeable, but they are very clean on the chest. Same with the sort of stripes down here as well. It has all that same articulation. The arm will go up, bicep swivel, double jointed elbow, but due to the buckle sort of sculpted on the forearms they will limit that double joint and even though there are pins at least the pins are the right color when compared to the outfit so there are pins on the uh, knees uh, and on the elbows of course would have been nice to see the pinless upgrade with the arms and legs but it wasn't to be unfortunately the bout is the same it's a separate piece down here at the waist so you've got the waist swivel there you've got your crunch there as well hidden nicely within the design as well as the cut is where the lines are so that's really good on the back you can see no serial number now compared to the old one that was always a pet peeve of previous marvel legends there is a boot cut again hidden within the sort of colors and then those knees are gray compared to the silver on the previous ones and again double jointed with the boot swivel, ankle pivot, rocker, some sculpted lines in the boots, etc. Legs, how far up there they go? Yeah, they go about that far up, that far out. To be fair, when you get him in a fighting pose or a flying pose with those wings, he's going to articulate just as much. It's about how, how, how far, there you go. That's what you want. You want the flying looking up pose and you can do that. So that's the main thing. So let's check out those wings. There is no disputing that these wings aren't the main incentive of this deluxe pack. Of course they are. The whole gimmick with Falcon Cap's character design are the wings and the shield combined. And it was always frustrating we never got the wings back on the original release. People even went to lengths of getting their own 3D printed versions. So it is good that Hasbro finally gave us an accurate sort of official version. So even if you have the old one, you're gonna end up buying this set for the wings anyway. So that's why I wish they would have gave us a a few little extra upgrades for that added incentive but nevertheless it's going to look good on the shelf that's for sure so we get the backpack here with a bit of blue a bit of silver then you get the red sort of clasps on the side and there is a bit of articulation here uh, if it will focus for us uh, on the wings so you get a little bit of up and down for some posing but you can see the wings actually are in one piece they curve inward so we're going to attach them uh, so spin it around like that. So keep the peg on the inside and then keep the curvature on the inside as well. So let me zoom out a little bit. Let's see what's going on here. So you might need some behind the camera strength, but it does clip in. So there you go. So you get a point of articulation on the wings like so. Uh, let's do the other side as well. I'm doing this live on camera. So if it goes out of focus, I can only apologize. Let's try that side. Yeah, it's a bit, bit stiff, but that's a good thing. So it means the joints will be tight. So there you go, the wings are attached now. Uh, and again, there's that point of articulation in the middle like so, and then they also fold in and out. So I guess you can wrap them round cap just like that. So yeah, nice sculpt work on there, but there is no paint detail. It is just a solid piece of red plastic shining under the east my lights here, but you can see some sculpted work for the wings. Uh, and again, it looks really nice this is what we were missing last time so let's not mess around and plug them in so again peg on the back of falcon cap and then it's a long peg as well so it should go in nice and tight uh, and there you go it is in now let's get these wings up let's go up a bit like so spinning round yeah and uh let's fold them inwards a little bit and there we go there we have falcon cap with the wings so let me get the tape measure out and let's see what we are dealing with. But I can confirm they're in quite tight. They're in snug. They're not going to fall and slip out the back. And uh, yeah, it looks good. So there we have the wings fully spread out, taking up the whole frame of the camera. Let me get the tape measure and see what we are working with. So from one end to the other, you're looking at about 14 inches of wingspan. Like you can't even see it all on camera. I'm going to have to move them back a little bit. So yeah, let me get 14 inches on the tape measure. And there you go. Yeah, a wingspan of about 14 inches 
inches, give or take a few millimeters. Uh, let's spin into the side as well to see what that was. So again, they can sort of curve inward, but I'm gonna lift them up when we do that a little bit. So let's do that and get the tape measure again. And the wings themselves, or about six inches as well. So yeah, he will take up a little bit of room on the shelf, but as I said, get him on a flight stand possibly, uh, or get that fishing wire and get him off the ceiling. But uh, of course you need falcon cap with his wings. So I'm very glad they finally did it. Again, they will articulate back and forward like so, and also up and down on the backpack. It goes like, so you can fold them all the way in like that, I suppose. So yeah, free, you can sort of feel it as well, like a ratchet, it sort of has three phases. So bottom, middle, top. Uh, and yeah, you can feel it definitely sort of grip on there with that one point of articulation on the actual wings themselves. So they will fold in like about that much. So uh, yeah, let's get them up. And there you go, Falcon cap with wings. He also comes with a new shield with the more accurate design. It's been a while since I've read those comics, but I believe it is. The old one was just an old cap shield and you can see it is smaller in design as well. Uh, and this one has some actual sculpted lines. This one is just flat with the decals, but still I'd rather the more accurate, bigger shield. It makes sense. Uh, both of them have the clip and pin system. I do wish they would figure out a different way. These always feel very brittle. Uh, that one has the sculpted design in the middle, uh, and this one is just smooth on the middle. But again, the clip and pin. So it will plug into the back of the figure, or you can sort of grip it onto those thick wrists. But be very careful. But yes, you have got a bigger shield. His only other accessories are just a few different hands. Out of the box you get one gripping hand and one fisted hand. It is a shame we don't get the second fist so you do not have a pair of fists but you do get the second gripping hand so you have a pair of gripping hands and I suppose these are useful as if you don't want to use the clip on the wrist you can just put the peg into those gripping hands and then you can get some better different poses with the shield as well. So having a pair does give you a few options to hold the shield. And then the last accessory is a throwing hand. So it's just an expressive open sort of flaring out hand. So you can get some throwing shield poses. Look at that. It's just through the shield at somebody. So uh, yeah, that is for a few pictures maybe, or just more of an expressive display if you want to have an enemy getting hit in the face with a shield. So there you go. Yeah, you get your shield thrown. So I'm just having some fun here. Toys are to be played with. And of course, we wanted to see what the shield and the wings look like combined. So it's nice to see that it will hold the weight of the sort of wings on the backpack and the shield and stand up. No problem at all. And it does make a difference. It is much better of a character design. So those wings are on the, like the top tier there like so so that's the top tier let's bring them down to the middle like that so you get them nice and flat and then you can even go one more so they're a little bit lower like so but yeah get this guy in a flight stand that's what it's going to be about falcon cap flying with the avengers also, I love the way you can fold in the wings over the top of the shield from the front like so to sort of create that shield like he does in the comics many times. So yeah, really nice touch. Just lift those uh, wings up and then fold them over like so. So there are definitely some posing options with these wings. They don't have to be flying constantly. You can get them into some battle poses. I do have a tiny little nitpick, nothing serious, but I do wish there was like an additional hole on the back there so you could still plug the shield onto the back like so and have the wings coming out of the shield just like it does in the comics. At least I think that's the character design. I understand it wouldn't have been very aesthetically pleasing to add another hole on this sculpted jetpack. Uh, I keep saying jetpack, but you know what I mean, wing pack. Uh, so yeah, I wish they they figured something out. They could have had a piece that could have plugged in and then you took it out and attached that. There would have been ways to do it, I'm sure. But yeah, just a tiny little detail. I would have liked to have seen them try to implement with the wings having the pack and then the shield going on the pack. That would have been a very cool looking character design and preference like in the comics. Agree? And let the record show that yes, you can of course plug the new wings into the old Sam from the free pack. However, the peg is too loose and they just fall out. So they have definitely added a little bit more tightness to that peg hole as that doesn't peg in as tight. So they've definitely made some adjustments to make it fit better on the new one. But yeah, that's what it looks like. But again, it will just fall out. Now, of course, we've got a couple of comic Falcons out there. Here we have the gray carded retro version. And you can see, to be fair, the wingspans are very similar with these two as well. So now you have your options for your falcon cap or just your regular falcon on the display but both have their trademark 
wings. And this is likely where my Sam Cap will end up with the all new, all different Avengers. So this team was sort of the 2015-16 era after the second Secret Wars event where the universes had collided and Miles Morales was in the regular 616 and we got this all new, all different Avengers. We've got Jane Foster 4, Falcon Cap, of course, all new, all different Vision, Miss Marvel, Sam Alexander Nova, and Miles Morales. I can't quite remember if Tony Stark was in the team or not, but I know these guys go together. This is how they have been posed on my display for a good while now. But now, of course, we've got the updated Falcon Cap with the wings. So, yeah, these look good together. Undoubtedly, the team did sort of evolve and change as time went on. Of course it did. But initially, this was that lineup, and they look great. In figure form. I've lifted the wings up just for the sake of space on the table but here we have Falcon Cap next to our recent Secret Empire Captain America. Remember one's a Walmart exclusive because it's mainly blue and one's a Target exclusive because it's mainly red. See what they did there? But it is accurate to have these two posed up on the shelf together as yes there were two Captain Americas running around. There have been for a good while and they were wearing these same outfits as well. So these two can go together on the shelf no problem at all. Here we have a couple of other Steve Rogers Captain America's. We've got the Ultimate Captain America and then I believe this is the 20th Anniversary Marvel Legends Captain America. Here we have a couple of Tony Starks and during this era of the comics with Falcon Cap it was this version of Invincible Iron Man. So these two also go together but who doesn't like the extremist armor? Here we have a couple of female S.H.I.E.L.D. agents with Maria Hill and of course Sharon Carter and we are getting a nice new updated Sharon Carter very soon. And here we have two Marvel Legends in all black on the black background. That's a clever idea, Dan. It is, if you can't tell, Black Panther and, of course, Black Widow. The clue was in the name. And I thought it would be fun to do a quick comparison of the wings of Angel and Falcon Cap. So there we have Angel with his impressive wingspan looking very elegant on the black background. But let's bring in Falcon Cap. So you can see, to be fair, they are very similar in wingspan themselves. It is just they're at different angles, of course. But I reckon they're both like close enough Probably both about 14 inches. And just taking advantage of the black background, here we have the astonishing Emma Frost. And definitely not Wolverine, it's Patch. As always, let's finish up with some of the Who crew. So here we have Frogman, Tiger, and Joe Casta, who is reading out comments from the previous Marvel Legend review. Leave a comment on this video, and she may read yours on the next one. Who have you picked today? Mr. Dipset9283 says, I would love a new take on the 90s feral Wolverine figure. And then last, but never least, still we have Captain Britain and Hal Fire Hank. <laughs> So, final thoughts on this Marvel Legends Target exclusive Sam Wilson, Captain America, a.k.a. Falcon Cap. Now, I honestly like this figure. I liked it the first time round, but that was eight years ago. So, as a long-time collector, I would have appreciated the pinless sort of upgrade here. But I understand it's an exclusive item. It's for those people who missed out the first time round, or just the second opportunity for collectors to sort of upgrade and get those wings. The wings are the big incentive here, because of course the Falcon Cap is exactly the same. But the shield looks good, and he does look good on display. You know me. It's all about world building. Having that accurate representation of the characters we love in plastic for our collection and there is no disputing this isn't a great looking falcon cap for the shelf so ultimately the decision is yours you let me know what you're going to do in the comments below but if you are in the uk i do feel your frustration for whatever reason distribution this is not available right now in the uk will it be ever at some point who knows maybe but it isn't right now so that is a very frustrating so hopefully your us friends can help you out just like my friends helped me out shout out jared who ordered this from hasbro eu got it sent from germany to ireland and then from ireland to me so shout out craig for letting me borrow it because it's technically his don't forget the dots so again massive thank you to the community good job this guy's got wings because he's already flew around europe and it's Captain America. So ironic. Anyway, you know what to do. If you like Marvel Legends, you are in the right place. Check out the videos tab on the playlist, but most importantly, please, 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 
hit that subscribe button, hit all in the notification bell, don't miss out on the video, and please hit that join button, become a channel member, either show some love, or join the members club, much, much appreciated, as always, massive thank you to Legends Verse, check out all the links in the description, if you collect Marvel Legends, and honestly, why haven't you signed up already, check it out, you can follow me on Instagram, it's Dan Who, I'm on Twitter, I still refuse to call it X, at Dan Who Reviews, my name is Dan W, and I will of course see you, on the next one. Bye.